Dr. Mike Hudson from Highland Family Medicine is back with us. Doctor, good to see you. Good to be here, Mark. Thanks. So we're talking about new screening guidelines for colon cancer. Let's begin with, as a result of these new guidelines, who should be screened for colon cancer? Everybody. Colon cancer is the third most common cancer diagnosis, and so regular screening is really important so it can be caught early, so there's more effective treatments. All right, who and when? When do, when do people get started? Yeah, so for those at average risk, we're going to start at 50 years old and go to 75 years old. Those with higher risk, such as people with Crohn's disease, a first degree relative with uh, history of colon cancer, should start their screening earlier and probably more frequently, so they should talk with their doctor. This is all part of the new recommendations, correct? Yeah. All right, uh, let's talk about uh, how it's done. There is a preferred method, correct? Yeah, the gold standard for colon cancer screening is a colonoscopy, where the colon is actually directly visualized with a special camera, and any polyps that might lead into cancer can be removed and analyzed under a microscope. Alternatives? People, sure. So people don't really like the prep for the colonoscopy. There's a virtual colonoscopy, which can be done by a special CAT scan. It's faster than a colonoscopy. It doesn't require sedation, but it does require a similar bowel prep. There's also uh, special tests that can be done at home, actually, with looking for um, subtle signs of blood in the stool. And those tests are quick and easy and can be done at home, although they have to be done every year. Okay, but uh, as you said, the, the colonoscopy is still the gold standard. That is the preferred and gold standard, but if folks are not willing to go through that, there are alternatives available. All right, uh, le let's talk about things people can do to prevent colon cancer, because there are some steps people can take. Sure, there are some strategies that can be used, but regular screening is still very important. Sure. Um, one can increase the exercise that they're getting, cut down on the red meat, and losing any excess weight. And really, before we go, I just want to say a big congratulations to all of the third-year residents from Family Medicine that are graduating from Highland Family Medicine in Brown Square. It has been absolutely a pleasure to work with you guys, and thank you for all of your inspiration and your support through the year. Well, we're glad we had a few extra seconds for that as well. Uh, and, and along those lines, thank you for coming in and sharing all this uh, wisdom with our viewers as well. We appreciate it as always. Always a pleasure to hang out with the TV8 crew, Mark. Yeah, thank you, Mike. Uh, as we finish up, I want to mention we've got a couple of links we're going to be sharing online along, uh, along the lines of these new, new colon cancer screening guidelines. You'll find that and more posted at rochesterfirst.com.